It's always interesting to find references in places where you wouldn't expect. With regard to anime especially, the medium tends to be pretty insular, so imagine my surprise when Steins 80 ends up referencing the 1984 Academy Award winning movie Amadeus, and of course the relationship it's based on. Many people know who Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is, but fewer know of Antonio Salieri, competing composer in close rival. The dynamic between the two ends up being analogous to Hiajo Maho and Makase Kurosu in Signs 80, and much of Maho's characterization involves her interpretation of this dynamic. She names the AI based on Kurosu Amadeus, which in addition to being Mozart's middle name, translates to Beloved of God. Like Mozart, she considers Kurosu's intellect so great that it must be God-given. Throughout the series, she struggles with feelings of inferiority, worsened by the fact that the object of her envy has passed. She often compares herself with Salieri, identifying with his mad jealousy that drove him as far as the use of poison, and the idea that she herself is the Salieri to Kurosu's Mozart brings her a lot of pain. But the thing is, Salieri never poisoned Mozart. The idea is but a simple rumor that Amadeus took hold of and ran with, making for a great story about obsession and envy, but not a very accurate one. And what makes Steins Gate Zero kind of interesting to me is that it plays with this misconception. In the beta world line, Kurosu is gone, leaving a massive hole in both our hearts and the story itself. Maho is the one that must take Kurosu's place, something that she would say is impossible. Yes, impossible. Which is why she's successful in creating a highly sophisticated AI based on a deceased person's memory. Nope, completely impossible, just ignore the fact that she was not only able to recreate Kurosu's time leap machine, she improved it from two days to two weeks, surpassing what even Kurosu was able to do. I titled this video Maho is Mozart, but the truth of the matter is, it doesn't matter who's Mozart. Both him and Salieri were respective composers of their time, and while they did butt heads now and then, they also respected one another. After all, it takes a certain amount of talent to be able to recognize genius in the first place. Maho is the Salieri to Kurosu's Mozart, just as much as Kurosu is the Salieri to Maho's Mozart. The fact that Signsgate Zero operated under the initial dynamic of the movie, only to turn it on its head and mimic the actual history, is quite gratifying. Just to show that this was not by mistake, but by design, this misconception is also acknowledged by Maho's ending, Twin Automata, in the Steins 80 visual novel. Maho says, I guess I really am Salieri. All I could ever do was be jealous of Amadeus. To which Moeka replies with, No, Salieri wasn't jealous. It's possible for someone with talent to recognize someone with even greater talent. That goes for you too. Salieri poisoning Mozart was just a rumor at the time. The movie took that rumor and added to it. That's what Kurashima said. There are a lot of things wrong with Steins Gate Zero. But at the very least, I loved Maho, and I think her struggle of insecurity is something we can all learn from. Sometimes it can seem like other people just naturally take the things you've had a hard time with. They can be really good, or maybe they're even better than you. That's fine. They're them, you're you. You can be really good too. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Or if you'd like, you can donate to my Patreon. Special thanks to GallonBG, Ur.com, Anime Stuck, Tsunami Gamer 632, and MushedPeas294 for their support. And of course, if anything I said was wrong, I'm sorry. I must have stuttered.